trade deal we made yesterday with Japan. It's an incredible, uh, an incredible deal. It's a massive deal, especially for our agriculture, our farmers, our ranchers. Our farmers, they don't want to take, they want to produce. They want to be able to do their work. They don't want anything for nothing. They're incredible people. I call them great American patriots. Because it was subsidized because of the China uh, trade deal that has not come through yet. Meanwhile, a Vox News alert, President Trump praising a potential breakthrough on a trade deal with Japan and its benefits to American farmers. Our next guest has been fighting for the workers in her state and says the president is delivering on his promise. South Dakota Governor Christy Nome joins us right now from Pierre, South Dakota. Mm -hmm. Governor, good morning to you. Good morning. Good well, morning. Well, it sounds like uh, this is going to be about a $7 billion trade deal, uh, largely uh, aimed at the American farmers who've been caught up in the tariff war. Mm -hmm. how, how badly have your farmers been impacted by it so far? Oh, it's, it's been very difficult for our farmers. For several years, we've had low commodity prices. We've had the largest natural disaster in South Dakota's history this year. A lot of our acres didn't get planted. So what we have, we need good prices for. And Japan is one of our biggest uh, customers in the world, mm -hmm. right behind Canada and Mexico. So this is a really big deal for South Dakota. Governor, as you talk to uh, the farmers in your state, are they, are they concerned about losing markets that they've been able to get into in China? And if so, mm -hmm. what kind of markets are they looking forward to opening up like maybe Japan or the European Union? Yeah, there's huge opportunities for us. They're very concerned about losing access to China's markets, but the president pushing forward a renegotiation of NAFTA, the USMCA agreement is incredibly important. Getting that ratified and through the House floor in September will be very important to open up new markets. This Japan agreement builds on that. It sets a precedent for bringing that China trade deal to the table and getting it completed. So I hope everybody recognizes that as we keep negotiating all of these trade agreements, it makes the next one easier and easier to get completed because it outlines exactly how those discussions will mm -hmm. go, gives us new digital trade protections and more access for more commodities that we're so good at, at growing and feeding the world with. How can a Democrat actually say they care about the agricultural community and not pass the USMCA? How could they possibly rationalize yeah, that? This is exactly correct. You're right. We absolutely have to put pressure on these Democratic members of the House. There are a lot of them in ag districts uh, that need to be pushing Nancy Pelosi to put that bill on the floor in September and get it finalized because it is a huge win for agriculture and agriculture is struggling right now. They need this win. They don't want to continue to get um, help and aid and payments from the government. They want to just do what they do best and that's grow our products, sell them to the world and continue to uh, give us the safest and the most affordable food supply in this entire world. Yeah, but Governor, you know the politics in Washington, D.C. right now. If if uh, the president gets a trade deal with that, uh, he's going to be able to say, look, look, I got a much better deal than they had before. And then that will give him, you know, one in the win column, which I don't think a lot of the Democrats want to give him. Yeah, the president, uh, if, if we get USMCA completed, it will be exactly what he said he was going to do. And this document that they've put forward, you know, I worked on this. I was in Congress mm -hmm. for the last several years working on this renegotiation. Uh, the details of this are much better than what we had before. America will be more successful under that new USMCA agreement. And it is helping us get this Japan agreement done. It is helping us outline exactly the protections we need when we talk to China. So um, pushing that forward forward will start a ripple effect that will help our country be much more profitable in the future. Governor, when you uh, look at the trade deals that are becoming available, the new markets, can you give us a little bit of insight into what kind of products people in South Dakota are producing? Because I think a lot of people hear this generic or general argument about trade, but they're not really sure exactly what we're talking about in terms mm -hmm. of production. So this uh, agreement with Japan will directly impact our beef markets, our pork markets, uh, also corn, wheat, and ethanol, wine. There's quite a few of them that in our state will make a really big difference for our producers and their prices that they'll be able to get. Um, but across the country, we have a huge new digital trade agreement, part of this negotiation that's important. And look back at the USMCA agreement. We have some monetary policy, currency manipulation policy, unfair practices policy 
policy that's laid out that we've never had before. These are things that I sat for years and listened to Democrats demand be in future trade agreements. And now they're actually getting them mm -hmm. and they're not pushing it forward on the House floor to get it done. So just remember that in these negotiations, this is all politics. They don't want President Trump to win this, uh, but they have in this agreement many of the things that they sat around that table and demanded for many years. Yeah, you know, it's a, the crazy thing is, is that the president's going and addressing these issues and he's getting such blowback. And if they are successful, they just talk about something else. Could you talk about the way the media is portraying something that has real life consequences like this? Well, I go out every day and talk to people across my state, and they're constantly encouraged by the actual work that President Trump is doing. So I know that you turn on your news and can listen and follow uh, what the media is saying, and it can get to be incredibly discouraging, and you think nobody's getting along or getting anything accomplished. But what this president is doing in tax policy and regulatory policy and what he's doing in energy policy, and now what he's doing in these trade agreements is a big victory for our country. It will keep us much more safe and secure into the future. So I always tell people to to get down into how it's impacting their lives right and let's focus on that not necessarily and, turn on our and, news before and, we go to bed and governor here's the confusing thing for democrats a lot of the things the president's doing goes against uh, traditional conservative doctrine who are free traders they wanted the tpp and other things and and the president goes no i like bilateral i'm worried about our manufacturing and the democrats say mm -hmm. wait that's my line so they're almost confused about how to take the president on well, and if we get this agreement done with Japan, that sets the table in that entire Asia Pacific region. Um, and that's what's incredibly important to us too. When you're doing business in a in a region, uh, it becomes a friendlier neighborhood. Uh, when you're trading with your neighbors and other countries, they want to stay closer allies with you. So for me, trade agreements have always been a national security policy. Uh, we do it to help our economy grow. We do it to help our people and families be more successful, but we also do it to make sure that we have strong allies and that we're doing business with them to keep our country safe. Well, the president is in in France, five more hours. Let's see what else uh, is announced. Yeah. Uh, Governor Christine Nome joining us today from the beautiful city of Pierre, South Dakota. Governor, yes. thank you.